everyone, Sophia Tong here bringing you more sync than any one person can handle. AKA Jody's at QuakeCon having the time of her life. So let's sync up. Nintendo's 3DS has had a, shall we say, bloody first couple of months at retail. Reasons for that are mostly boring. But for sure, one major reason is that its games library is about as robust as a starving horse. Sony may be able to dodge that problem with the PlayStation Vita. Though it was looking increasingly likely that the system would rush to market this holiday, Sony's deputy prez Kaz Harai told the AP that the Vita won't launch in US and Europe until early next year. Oh, and as for a price cut to match the 3DS, Harai just laughed and laughed and laughed, and then he got real serious and said no. Moving on, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting a little tired of referring to whatever Bungie's working on as Bungie's new game, or Bungie's new project, or you know, Bungie and Activision's sweet, sweet love child. Can't we just call it like Tiger or something? We're doing it! Oh nice! So Bungie posted a 55 minute video retrospective today, and at the end of it they refer to the new game as Tiger. The video also shows a mocap session and a couple of stressed out Bungie guys wearing expressions that can be read as, my god, what have we done? How can anything be bigger than Halo? Huh. Today's reviews should appeal to Phineas and Ferb fans and those who are into free stuff. Bethesda announced today that Brink, Agents of Change, is available on Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, and Steam, and is free for the next two weeks. The Agents of Change DLC throws players back into the war between the Resistance and security factions when a mysterious ship from the outside decides to shake things up. Be sure to check out the Reviews blog where Chris will post more impressions of Agents of Change soon. Carolyn Pettit gives you her impression of Phineas and Ferb across the second dimension for the DS. She says it's a painfully repetitive and easy action platformer that recycles the same basic obstacles and the same few dull minigames so many times that even young fans of the cartoon are sure to get bored. If you're looking for a good Phineas and Ferb game, just play the PS3 or Wii versions. They're much better. Today's top game of summary equips players with a gun named Boner. I'm not even joking. It's time to reveal the top five games of summer brought to you by Pizza Hut's Pizzone. Number two on the list is the disturbingly dark and comical Shadows of the Damned. The game takes you to the bowels of hell. And trust me, it's not a pleasant place. You'll come across a zombie-looking creature who rips his own heart out and eats it in front of you before turning into a huge horse-headed beast. You're left to defend yourself with a gun named Boner. That's right, folks. I don't make this stuff up. See for yourself. Tune in tomorrow when we reveal the number one game on our top five games of summer brought to you by Pizza Hut's Pizzone. That's all for today. Let's sync up tomorrow.